In this video, I'm going to be exploring some sample reports that are in Power BI service and to let you, I'm not sure you've actually tried them out before, but let's see them together and sort of go through them so you can pick ideas, inspiration or some concepts from those reports. So once you learn to Power BI service right now, which I am, go to app.powerbi.com. If you have license, you'll be able to sign in. Then um, just right here, as you continue to scroll through the recommendation, you see some like here, I can say explore this data story. I mean, explore the 100 most difficult, I mean, most useful uh, productivity tips. Let's click on this and see. So this is the definitive 100 most useful productivity tips. This is really cool, but it's a storytelling thing. So let's go through it together. Uh, you can say time boxing. Well, prioritize is 98. Say no is 91. Move. Uh, well, I'm not sure how the data was gotten, but you can see the details here. Um, you know, where they got data from and a few other things. You can learn more about that here. Okay, and what makes this really interesting is you can select, you can filter by ranges. If you are looking for uh, here, I can see productivity scale. If you are looking at this kind of scale, it affects the data. If you are interested in um, something really so high productivity, you want to narrow them down. What makes you highly productive? Should be time boxing. So set the time for whatever you are doing. Don't just, I mean, this is a, this is a motivational session right now. Don't just go there and um, say, I will do this thing for one year. I mean, set a time, but don't just say, I will do it. I will write that certification exam. When are you writing it? Time boxing can actually help you prepare and be productive. Prioritize. If you can't prioritize things, you just, uh, you might not be able to do the most impactful of all your tasks uh, because you can't prioritize them. You are getting things done, but are they really pulling weight? Say no or more. I think this is for me because I have so much of requests every day that sometimes I take more than I can handle. So saying no, uh, it's good. It makes you productive because you can limit what you are committed to and can be productive. I mean, you can see this is a data storytelling and let's look around there. What area would I like to improve? Oh, if it's distraction, if I click on distraction, you see, control your devices. Wow. Okay. And these are the tips. Now, don't let them control you. We check your phones between, uh, we check our phones between 150 to 221 times a day. Come on. See, I click on it and it's scrolling down. And I can check. If there are more than one recommendation, I can click. What was this? Well, the card disappeared. What was this for? Idea. Wow. -woo. I mean, I start again. Impressive. I, this this dashboard is a sample dashboard so you can pick for, for example you don't know how to do this i don't know how to do this i will have to maybe embark on the project and that's something you can also do you can embark on project so um i'm just going to click this this is interesting but this is not all let's go back home and see other um dashboards uh, all the ports rather that we can explore okay this is cancer statistics in usa let's click on this as well I mean, your attention should be on data storage. Number one, I love this. I mean, I like the color gradient. Uh, the way everything just played out. In the past, I used to think this kind of uh, interesting map can be achieved only with Tableau or some complex software. But I mean, recently we've seen impressive use of that in Power BI, and this is just one again. Um, you can see it's a report demography male 191 million female 181 million that's total uh usa cancer statistics total population affected 743 million i mean i don't understand um do we have up to that in u.s population of course when i want to find out why i mean what exact story is being is being told here area if i click on area i can see it's changing okay if i click on demography i can see it's changing as well Okay, how interesting is this? I can click on this. Oh, okay, to move to by site. Right, total mortality, total incident. Okay, all cancer sites combined. Okay, um, all cancer sites combined. Um, this mortality rate, this incident rate. I'm not sure I really get the best from this. Uh, if I'm in the head, if I'm in the headset, for maybe I will understand this layer better. I mean, beyond just interpreting, I couldn't follow this story like we did for the previous one. Um, so take your time and view it. You might be the one getting the best from this, but it just lets you know this exists. Let's jump quickly to another one. I hope I'll be able to do much there. I have 
under most productive we've done this too um some of them might not follow each other i have yet another one spot rank by degree of difficulty cool let's click on this wow okay you can see ranking or spot by degree of difficulty for key skills interesting and these are the skills and this is the definition of the skills compare sport most difficult by skill data table hmm, interesting um you can see this but it might still be a little bit difficult to actually understand let's go to compare sports so you'll be able to um compare boxing versus you know ice hockey wow you can see these different um categories and their strengths um i'm a i'm a fan of uh, football so let's see is it football or soccer okay it's football cool um uh, football and which other one um uh, just let's choose boxing we can see for football it at oh wow agility that comes first uh, in terms of ranking actually it's alphabet quarter but you see for football is agility is rank 13 ah so there's a rank let's go let's go check top 10 spot by skill wow spot degree of difficulty by skill for agility we can see soccer is number one hey so here soccer is not the football i guess uh, i mean soccer i mean is soccer not football sorry is it progressive if soccer is football then how about football um we still have football here i guess yeah we do football is 13. Hmm, okay i think in us it's called soccer and in the uk we call it football but i'm still not sure that is the difference here now we can see that soccer in terms of agility, agility how about analytical aptitude auto racing interesting wow durability boxing you got to be durable if not they knock you off um endurance cycling hmm interesting flexibility nobody takes it out of gymnastics i mean and high coordination oh baseball softball and table tennis hmm interesting ah interesting i said click a spot to cross a light okay if i click this ah that will give me the position across all other Ah, interesting. Baseball is not doing so well with nerve and power and speed and stride. Ah, it's not about flexibility. It's not about endurance. Ah, so it's only here that it's coming first. Okay, cool. Uh, but you can see this is real storytelling and you can follow through, right? Uh, let's see the data table. I think this put all the sport and rank them overall rank now. Ah, okay, in terms of skills. Ah, so boxing is the most difficult. Interesting. Followed by high hockey football and i wanted to play football so um so meaning i'm already signing up for the third most difficult sport what so uh, uh, one thing i i love this um i would have love if there is average pay you know uh, so that i can see the less difficult but most rewarding in terms of pay and maybe uh i will start preparing myself for that kind of sport because there's money in sport right okay so the, uh, even without that this is really cool i love this and think of it can you replicate this i mean you see how we're able to go through this it's storytelling you can save you know you can go through this yourself explore this and get the values i'm already getting values from this because i can understand it's easy for me to to play with okay so let's i mean this there should be more um, how equal are we now? This is about gender equality. I'm still coming back there. Oh, student affected by COVID. I've never heard that before. Uh, I wasn't aware. Oh, I love this COVID. Oh, we've seen a lot of COVID dashboards. So let's see this as well. Um, hmm, uh, this is loading. I, well, kind of just another display of map here. You know, another map type you can see. I, I of course, if I click, this is where I am, Nigeria. So Nigeria cases is just fifty-five thousand. Ah, um, confirmed cases fifty-five thousand. Is that right? Is this data in millions or in thousand? Ah, so uh, maybe the the data is not complete. Uh, I can't believe that fifty-five thousand confirmed cases in Nigeria. It should be way more than that. Okay, um, so maybe not about the data now, about the concept. So we can see how everything is laid out here. I'm gonna click back to reset. I should click to reset. Ah, 
okay and there is a worldwide i click worldwide i'm just looking for what to do to okay if i click outside oh i click outside and everything goes back all right you can see cumulative and uh, oh maybe it's for a particular day i see i see um this is the day here thursday um night 2020 all right that is definitely not up to date so you might want to download the data here and replicate this if you want to try it out uh cumulative hmm, interesting see the kind of chart see the way it shows you know what who is leading and how you know the, the, the trend in terms of how it's rising you can see um india see india see us which, i mean and this is two tips oh interesting so when i put it there i can see um the united states and top three wow united kingdom and china mainland i can see top three interesting ah cool this is really cool to be honest yeah i can even see much more than top three here wow okay great and how about new ah um this kind of data used to be something that i can play so that once you click on play you then see the you know the growth across the days but i'm, I'm this is not such one that we can play overall i think this is great i love i love this storytelling i can follow through like it's just that data is not great because it's not most recent and that the goal is not to keep it recent it's just show you this idea let's quickly go back here and let's see a couple of things um i see this student affected by covid student affected by covid 19 school closure wow wow this this is just a dashboard this is not a report it's a dashboard just on one screen uh, but number one i like the color combination um the clue with the team so there's an idea around that so i just me i did predominant colors here actually i think three i have this i have this uh, range like and this gray color um this this color this thick is it thick color or something like that so these three colors uh, this is a shade of it and it just blends and uh, of course white it's here as well so i can see wow i think the trick here is about this pie chart secondary primary and tertiary and surrounding it yet is another data the classes uh, i'm not sure how best to interpret this data so we have the upper middle income right here there's no two tips here we have the lower middle income and we have the low income, we have the high income. That's the percentage. But mind you, this is not connected to the tertiary, secondary, and primary. So you shouldn't interpret them that way. I'm not sure. Uh, because we can say that the high income are only in tertiary and secondary school just because it covers that way. You can't cut across that two categories now. So it just shows you also the proportion that uh, in terms of income distribution. Okay. Affected student by income level, yeah, we can see that. Lower, okay, so low income are not that much affected. I mean, is there is any reason behind that? Affected student by region, you can see the region. You know, is even cut across this. This, I think, this is global, right? East Asia and Pacific, yes, yeah, this is global. Uh, but right here, the challenge is, is not showing value. So, um. Uh, it's hard to follow i click and there's okay i click and i see to that student but why is there no two tips you know to tell me exactly what is happening there ah i like i like this okay cool i, I think that's just all click on anything everything features and um i'm not sure i can replicate this kind of chat but if you can cool and you can actually pick inspiration can i what does it take and start you know google searching try out some things should not be that difficult by the way and lastly, let's I saw one inequality gender. Are we equal now? I, I think I kind of like it. I need to check it out. Hmm, where is it? Let's check again. Let's check how equal are we. I think this is the last to check. How equal are we now? Great. So marriage understanding the eight indicators these are actually so this, this is pointing us to you know the indicators here parenthood and i think those are the color code that we have right here these are the color code 
so um assets you know across assets across marriage okay for marriage uh, assessing legal constraint related to marriage okay you want to see the difference between male and female um i guess right and right here we see in terms of equality high income we have 94.66 index that is the index hmm. so i'm quite sure how to interpret this okay belgium did they mean they are equal oh maybe 100 percent mean actually people are equal uh, there's a lot of equality in belgium canada denmark france iceland latvia luxembourg sweden i'm interested in my country my home country nigeria so do i have data for nigeria so this alphabetical order is it i'm not sure ah we should have data for nigeria so let me filter click on this filter and then i should be able to search um if i can search let me look for africa north east okay this is where this is where nigeria is so um scrolling through this okay i think this have a bit called that this is nigeria I'm, I'm just interested in my country oh 63.10 okay um so there's still a lot of work for us to do in nigeria to achieve that equality level we i i am full support of that we should have access everyone you know we should promote equality in marriage in asset in entrepreneurship pension workplace mobility pay and parenthood and good ah nigeria is we are uh, way behind by the way all right so uh, the goal of this is just to walk you through some of this and that's how you pick ideas uh, ask yourself can i create this kind of things okay if you can't you might go back here again this idea and just uh, this today i just want to see what it takes to create this kind of chat it might not be everything it could be one feature there then you know explore online i don't have the pool of resources out there that I can point you to that will show you exactly how to be some of these things but you can ask google questions and you can that can lead you to blog and also youtube videos okay thank you guys um on another time i will find something really easy to interact with like this or you know to, to walk through and we can go through them together by the way of course all these other resources are also there for you. Intro what Power BI is. Of course, uh, you've learned Power BI sometimes, but you, maybe you've not even gone through it. So this leads you to, you know, the learning part where you can actually read exactly from Microsoft University. Yeah, this is Microsoft University. And when you hand badges there, it's accredited because, yeah, uh, it's from the creator of the tool that is actually teaching you. So what else? Okay, so take your time, go through this as well. Thank you and bye.